Deputy Chairperson Irungu Nyakera, where they discussed various aspects of the ongoing reforms at Kemsa. During the meeting at Wafola's office, the reforms included the need to ensure transparency and accountability in the procurement and distribution of medical supplies. The meeting comes hours of the changes at Kemsa leadership that saw the firing of PS for Public Health, Joss Finburu. In a bid to address the challenges faced by the Kenya Medical Supplies Authority, Kemsa, Health CS Nahumincha Wafula and the newly appointed chairperson Irungu Nyakera engaged in a productive discussion on the ongoing reform process. The primary objective of these reforms is to streamline healthcare services across the country. Kemsa has been marred by allegations of corruption and mismanagement that are said to have hindered its effectiveness. Consequently, the authority has embarked on a comprehensive reform process to rectify these issues. During their meeting, Health CS Nahumincha expressed unwavering support from the ministry and the government in driving the reform process at Kemsa. The officials explored critical aspects, including enhancing transparency and accountability in the procurement and distribution of medical supplies. They emphasized the importance of collaboration among stakeholders in the health sector to ensure accessibility to high-quality health services for all Kenyans. At Kemsa, Irungu's appointment comes after President William Ruto's reigned on Kemsa, making changes at the authority. In the changes, the President fired Principal Secretary for Public Health and Professional Standards, Jocelyn Buru. Ruto also sacked the entire board for at Kemsa and appointed a new board to be chaired by Irungu Nyakera. Kemsa is under PS for medical services. The sacking of Mburu has raised many questions among Kenyans after it emerged that she was not directly in charge of Kemsa operations. According to the executive order number no. 1 of 2023, the president placed Kemsa under the Department of Medical Services. Her firing raised questions with Azmio leader Rai Lodinga weighing in. In period of time, you are going to be seeing hemorrhage uh, in this government. But then, you see, you have a, a government should be run as a government. You have ministers who are, are charged with these responsibilities. Why are we not seeing ministers? Why is the president the one coming up with the key policy issues? If there's a scandal in Kempsa, they should minister for health, minister for health. Or if there's a permanent secretary for health, he's a medical services. This other one here is just PS for, uh, uh, for public health. So uh, we, we, it raises more questions than it, it answers. Kemsa has continued to make headlines over corruption and mismanagement. The first saga was about $7 billion intended to buy personal protective equipment and other essential health facilities at the peak of the COVID-19 pandemic. At the moment, Kemsa is in the spotlight over the $3.7 billion mosquito net deal. The country risks losing $3.7 billion after bungled tender for the supply of treated mosquito nets. Brian Amuailu, Cap TV, Nairobi.